feel like I got clean. What I messed up. I know that's right. Praise the Lord. Praise God. If you bow your, if you bow your heads with me, we want to be teaching the Lord. Lord, we come before you today. Lord, we look, we wait to hear from you. Speak to us today, God. Speak to us today. Speak your word today. Speak, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let the message be healing for someone, God. Let it be food for another, God. Well, we trust in you. We love you today. Be in everything that's said today. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank God. Amen, amen, amen. Today, and the pastor is absolutely right. Those of us who come before this in, in this in this sacred desk should speak. Jesus, that's going to keep us. That's what keeps us. Yeah. Amen. So that's what I'm going to do today. Yeah. I want to talk about two ships right. in the storm. Yeah. All right. Praise God. Two ships in the storm. Yes, Amen. Amen. First, we're going to look at Jonah. Jonah in the storm. We're going to look at Jonah's ship. Yeah. Yeah. Some groups see the book of the story of Jonah as an allegory. Mm. They say it's fiction yeah. or parable. But it's actually prophetic narrative. And what I like to call historic narrative. No one knows who wrote the book of Jonah, only that it is rich in Hebrew tradition. Mm -hmm. Today is not going to be an academic exercise, yeah. but, it, but an evaluation of ourselves. Yeah. As this writer of the book of Jonah challenges us mm -hmm. in the message he writes, and there's many, amen, we're only going to look at part of the first chapter. It's enormous. That's all we can get through today. Amen. Praise God. So, uh, so what do we know about Jonah? So we're looking at her first Jonah. Uh, in 2 Kings 14.25, you'll see his prophecy. But we know that he's from a, a region called Gathar, the geographical part of the northern kingdom. Jonah 1 and 1 says he's the son of Amtai. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Jeroboam the second was the king of Israel. All right. All right. He took over after Jeroboam the first, who was not his father. Jeroboam the second did evil in the sight of God. Mm -hmm. All right. He built a golden calf. All right. A big golden calf. And encouraged Baal worship. God fought for for uh, Jeroboam. God fought for Jeroboam and won many, many battles, many battles. Mm -hmm. In so much that the economy of the Northern Kingdom had, was greater than it had ever been. Yes. God fought for Jeroboam, not for Jeroboam, but for himself, for his word. The economy was so great that the courts and the kings and, and, all, the, and all the court were totally in, engrossed in money. Yes. But there are two classes then in the, in the northern kingdom. There was the rich and there was the working class with the poor folks. And the rich folks at that time of Jeroboam fleeced the poor mm. until they had very little or nothing. All they thought they had was just out of worship. Uh -huh. And an imagination well. toward vices of pleasure. Mm. Right. Their hearts were concrete mm. against God's will. Jesus. They were concrete. Yeah. Amen. 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 During the time of Jeroboam, well. God 
God had many prophets. Mm. Tom Jeroboam, God had many prophets. Yes. Yes. There, were, there were three schools of prophets. Mm -hmm. The biggest one, most common one that's known is uh, one Carmel. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Okay. Right. So in the time of, of Jeroboam, Amos was up there. Hosea was up there. All right. And I think Obadiah was up there. There were many of us up there. But God ordained a man to deal with Jeroboam and the waywardness of the folks yeah. and the Syrian army that was stealing Hebrew land. Yeah. Right. Yeah. In walks Jonah. Come on now. Yeah. Come on now. Look. Jonah was a true prophet. All right. In all respects. Let me say that again. Jonah, because I, I, I ain't heard this. Jonah was a true prophet. All right, all right. All right, God. Yeah. This puts things in, 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 into perspective. He was a real prophet. Yeah, right. You can read his prophecies in 2 in Kings 14, 25. Amen. So he had to deal his 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 he dealt with Jeroboam and they kept going back and he would go into the mountain and hear from the other other priest and then listen from, hear from God and go back down and listen and deal with that man. And the wilderness of the folks, that was his burden. Amen. So God chose Jonah. And we also know that God told him to go to the heart of the Assyrian Empire. Mm -hmm. uh, but of course, Jonah thought he needed to be where he needed to be with them folks acting, acting off. Uh, so, and Jonah did not want to go to, to, to the Assyrian Empire and warn these people so God might forgive them. Mm -hmm. and, yes. mm -hmm. That was the main problem. So he better just stay in the familiarity of his area, family friends. Amen. The book of Jonah has none of his prophecies. None of Jonah's prophecies are in the book. It is filled with irony. Uh -huh. Which is the opposite of what we expect. Verse right. 1, uh, Jonah says, The word of the Lord, all caps, what the Lord. And you know the God, the God of Israel speaking, according to the scribe of King James Version. But the Hebrew Bible says, and the word of the Lord, all caps, came to Yonah. Came to Yonah. So if you didn't say Yonah, that just means Jonah. That's Hebrew for Jonah, Yonah. Mm -hmm. Yonah means dove. And if you think about three places in the Bible, Maybe uh, Noah, uh, Leviticus being sacrificial, and then, and then the dead resting on, on Christ in his baptism. Amen. So, death can mean peace and hope and forgiveness, sacrifice, a sign of God's love and, and, and purity and joy and happiness. That's what, that's what you're not doing the means. Amen. Amen. The Bible, the first verse also said he's the son of Amatai. Come on, man. Son of. My name is Timotheus. But according to the Jewish tradition, and I, I totally agree. My name is Timotheus, but, but the important part of my name is that I am Timotheus, son of James. Amen. 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 Yes. That's the most important part of me, mm -hmm. it's him. Right now. Because through him came generations of information that gives me reason and direction. Yes, yes. 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 It gives me intellectual. Come on, Come on. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Jonah was the son of Amittai. Amittai is Hebrew, closest to the word truth. Right. So here's a truthful. Loving, forgiving, peaceful, hopeful, sacrificial, God's power, resting prophet. This is Jonah. I'm in it, right? I am. God 
said, Arise. Arise. Uh -huh. Pastor talked about this two weeks ago. I'm hurry up. First Kings 17 and 2. Pastor talked about this with, with Elijah. First Kings 17 and 2. The word of the Lord, capital yeah. L O R D, came right. to Elijah uh -huh. right. and said, Arise, go to the brook, and the ravens will there will feed you. Yeah. Then in the 18th chapter, verse 1, it's the word of the Lord, capital L O R D, came to Elijah and said, Arise, go to the widow, because I commanded her to feed you. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. That's the prophetic mandate. God speaks, and the prophet obeys. Yes. Amen. That's how that works. God speaks, and the prophet obeys. Amen. 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 So, in this case, same thing. The word of the Lord, capital L O R D, came to your mouth. Mm -hmm. And said, Arise. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it, because their wickedness yes. has come up before me. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. From where John was, it was a 500 mile walk yeah. from the Northern Kingdom to Nineveh. There was a nice port that the you know, inlet he would have to pass. He would get a nice little breeze on his walk, which was not unusual at that time, you know, maybe 25 miles a day or something, and that's okay. Uh, but the Bible said that he fled, he fled God's presence and went and designed to go to Tarshish. I'm like, well, what? Why Tarshish? Tarshish is 2,500 miles away from where God told him to go. Come on now. Jesus. 2,500 miles from where God told him to go. Amen. Praise God. So, what about these Ninevites? What's and they did. I'll just give you a, a few things. They were, they were really interesting folks. God said the weakness is coming before me. So they were polytheistic and they, they believed more, in more than one God. Mm -hmm. Hero Israel, the Lord that God is one. Mm -hmm. Amen. They, they hung bodies on the wall to show their power. They were the staging point for many campaigns against peaceful nations. Yeah. Uh, they used hooks and were alcoholics. Mm. They went to witchcraft and sorcery, and they killed Amatai, the father of Noah. The Ninevites killed Amatai, James. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Praise God. So God said, get up and go to Nineveh. And it took Jonah a, a minute. He, he, he got up, but he reasoned it and devised a plan. All right. Before he got up, he had devised a way. He had there was intention. There was, yeah. there was, there was, there was a foresight tension. All right. And Jonah's way was to go down to Joppa, says the Bible. And then he went down, of course, to the hold of the boat, and then down to the water. Yeah. And spoiler alert, uh, he went down to the belly of the fish. All right. So down and down and down and down he went. God to pull you out of it. Amen. 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 And it looks, and, and, and the author kind of stops here and it's a, it gives this point. And, it's, and it looks like a life that is growing spiritually mm -hmm. is one that is running towards God's command. Mm -hmm. Despite the difficulty. Life that's growing spiritually is one that's moving towards God's command despite the difficulty. Jesus said, My yoke is easy. easy. 
and my burdens are light. Yeah. He always goes first for me. He goes yeah. first. Yeah. And then when I get there, it's all done. Yeah. Amen. All right. Praise right now. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. There is always a boat waiting for you at Joppa. Hmm. There's always a boat waiting for you at Java. Yeah. The enemy makes, makes it that. Yeah. It looks different for everybody. Yeah. It's enticing. All right. Entangling. Yeah. Oh. The, the Bible scripture says lay aside every weight yeah. and the sin Woo. that is so easily. Yes. Easily. The boat is a pill. I was on my phone doing some research last night and I got grabbed. And, 20, and in 20 minutes, I was like, what am I, what am I doing? <laughs> it's a pill. For some folks, it's a cell phone. Yes. All right. or, your, or your car, or your TV, or whatever. Say that. Say that. Joppa. It's a boat waiting. You got to pay something. It's going to cost you something. And then you then you're in the down spiral. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. Amen. 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 Okay, and so uh, let's move quick here. The the Lord then, in all caps, the Lord, L O R D, sent a mighty tempest. Mighty tempest. Not a tempest. A mighty one. Yeah, the sea mighty. didn't know what it was going on. I was going on, I was going on with this. Mm -hmm. Mighty tempest. Amen. And uh, verse 5 says, the Gentile sailors began to pray frantically to their gods. And just a little sub note, the Jewish people are not people of the sea. They're people of dry land. Solomon was the only one who had two ships, but, he, but those ships, in, in a, in a, they intercepted ships on the trade route so they can do, uh, they can do commerce and get back to the, to the kingdom. Mm -hmm. But the people of the, of the land, God Open the, the Red Sea was open, and God let them walk on dry land. Yes. The people of the land, not the sea. Right. Okay, so uh, the ship captain, a Gentile, said, "Arise!" Mm. The same command God gave Jonah: "Arise!" Mm. Oh, sleep! What are you doing? Get up and pray to your God, and you will have mercy on us. Let us live. Praise God. The cast lots were to bones. And of course, they fell in Jonah because God was in the bones. Mm -hmm. God was in the bones. Right. And they asked him, Well, who's your people? Where are you from? And Jonah got up. Kind of proud. Mm -hmm. I said, I am a Hebrew. Mm -hmm. I fear the Lord. Mm -hmm. The God of heaven, which has made the sea and dry land. Uh -huh. But I'm trying to escape on one of those seas that God made. Uh -huh. uh -huh. From the presence uh -huh. of God. Uh -huh. Come on, man. Uh -huh. uh -huh. His walking is talking. It's like. Again, the writer has another, another, mess, another lesson, and that is a life that is growing spiritually shows a consistency between words and works. All right, all right. A life growing spiritually shows a consistency between words and works. All right. Some folks discount Christianity as just one of those one of those other religions. Uh, and deem some folks as hypocrites, yeah. hypocrites, because they don't do what they say, right. or they say something and do something else. Right. A walk in our talk must not contain irony. Right. We're living epistles, of course, uh, uh, read our men, and they're looking, and they're reading. It, it, it took time for I, it took time for me yeah. at Phillips. Yeah. It took time. I prayed every day. Yeah. It took time. Amen. I spoke everything here in my life, OJ, was about the goodness of God and how He loved all of us. All right. That was my that was my 
discourse. Yes. Amen. Amen. It took time, though. I sat down at my at my station and I meditated yes. or sang praises to God all day. All right. Amen. But it took time before they came outside and prayed with me. All right. So I prayed hard. I right the Right by the, 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 when trucks came in, I pray hard every day. It took time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But at some point, they called me Rev. At right. <laughs> <laughs> some point, I was a preacher. But it took time because they were watching me. Uh -huh. And they kept, and they were still watching me. Uh -huh. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. The, the sad truth is this our life, may be the only Bible that some people read. Our life may be the only Bible that some people read. They won't come here. They won't come in here. You gotta go out there and they're watching you. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Verse 10 that says to were terrified Jonah that he's running from God. They said, What do you want us to do to you that the sea become for us? <laughs> and Jonah said, Throw me in the sea. This is the first time he asked to be killed. All right. Throw me in the sea, and it'll become for you because I know that I'm the cause of this great terrorist. Yes, Amen. 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 And for most folks, that would have been enough. The sea's going crazy, the boat's breaking up, they threw away all the cargo that they that they got from Java. They're, this was this was a worthless trip. They let me in and they may die. And this guy is saying, all you have to do is throw me in the water and everything will be better. That would have been enough. I grab that guy and just okay. <laughs> But my favorite verse is verse 13. John said, throw me the water and everything will, be, everything, will be, everything will be better. First thing says, instead of the water, instead of throwing John in the water, instead, they grabbed their, their oars and they rowed hard to save John's life. They could have killed him. Instead, I love the fact first. They picked the wardrobe of Job to save his life, which they could. So in, uh, in, the, in, the, in the following verses, they throw Jonah in the, in the in the water, of course. They call on God, they offer sacrifices and promises to God. They had a personal relationship. Praise God. And it's, it's funny, it, when I said irony, Gentile sailors, Gentiles, are trying to save Jonah's life. Jonah is running so Gentiles won't be saved. Come on now. Anyway, irony, irony, irony. Okay, so John can be summed up. Uh, God loves and concerns for everybody all the time, despite the ethnicity or gender or religion or what area a person is born into. Mm -hmm. The other story may be uh, God's warning that he had John tell eventually the Nevites. That warning was the same warning that. Jonah was saying to uh, Jeroboam. And that's the same message today. Yes, yes. Right? Repent. Amen. Repent. Amen. When there's a prophet coming, El El Johnson said, but after a prophet comes judgment. Yes. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Jonah's also about prejudice. Yeah. Hatred. Amen. The book's about prejudice and, and hatred. Uh, the, the, the 
Jews had this uh, this 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 thing about uh, God does not do bad things to good people, and that was the hang up. God doesn't do bad things to good people. God doesn't do good things to bad folks. Good folks get good things. Bad folks get bad things. <laughs> Job was afflicted. His friends that came and sat there for days. <laughs> Not a word. Say that. And when they opened their mouth, the first thing they said was, you had got to have done something. God does not do bad things to good folks. Jones problem. God does not do good things for bad folks. And we can look farther into the New Testament. Master, who sent this man or his parents that he was born blind? I mean, that's, that's why I had to write this. God doesn't do good things to, he doesn't do bad things to good, to, to bad, I mean, he only does bad for bad. Amen. I got now we're going to look at the second boat. In the, in the second boat, uh, another ship is on its way to a Gentile land. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's happening. It's going on its way to a Gentile land. And that the Catholics call it the, the Gatherings. Again, the ship came, uh, it, it faced a storm. Again, someone slept in the hole of the ship. And again, the ship began to break up. Again, frantic wayfarers, some waking up the sleeper. And it was 900 years between Jonah's voyage and Jesus' voyage. And Jesus redid Jonah's voyage the right way. <laughs> Jesus did Jonah's story the right way. Yes. There was a violent storm at sea. The ship was breaking up. The disciples were frantic. Jesus was asleep in the hole like Jonah. Master, don't you care that we perish? The, the the writer of the writer of the gospels didn't say Jesus got up and frantically ran to the, to the deck. Jesus walked, got up, walked to the deck, looked at the wind and waves, and the disciples frantic behind him and said, "Peace, peace, my God, And you know what? The disciples were quiet. When they speak, they're like, oh, what, what kind of man is this? They were quiet. Peace. Still. Amen. Quickly, they were on their way to, uh, this ship was on their way to the gatherings. The gatherings, where Jesus ran into a man who was possessed, you know, legion, you know. Yeah. Legion, when, when Jesus restored him, Legion wanted to follow Jesus. And Jesus said, no, go and tell your parents about what God did for you. All right, Amen. all right. Amen. Uh, so, the man was never mentioned again in the Bible. Whatever the man's name was, he was never mentioned again in the Bible. He lived in a Decapolis. Uh, all Gentiles. He's never mentioned again. Mm -hmm. But archaeologists have dug up that area <laughs> and they found hundreds of temples dedicated to worshiping God. Come on now. Right. You want to talk about Jonah running? I know that's right. This man ran home and told his folks. I wouldn't yeah. believe that he had a huge impact in getting those churches started. Praise the Lord. Jonah devised a way. He devised a plan. But in the Bible says there's a, there's a way that seems right to a man. 
that when I mean, it seems right, I'm a man. There's a way that seems right to a man, but the end of that way is death. Yeah. And Jesus said, Who do men say that I, son of man, am? All right. Praise God. And he answered, I am the way. All right. I am the truth. Yeah. I am the life. I am the way. Praise Lord, there is no light in any other way. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. And, and lastly, Jesus said, Come unto me. Yeah. Oh, you may in the Come unto me. Everybody who is laboring. Yes. Who is hard to breathe. It's hard to walk. Mm -hmm. Your back hurts. Mm -hmm. It's hard to deal. Mm -hmm. Say, folks, sinner folks, come oh. unto me. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Those in pain, those that are sick, come yeah. unto me. Yeah. Oh, hey. Oh, you that labor. And I will give you rest. Thank you. Amen. 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 Amen